Hi, in this video, we are going to use VMware Cloud Director to manage networks within an organization. In an organization's virtual data center, various virtual machines and vApps can be connected through different kinds of networks. As a tenant organization administrator or a user having equivalent rights to an organization administrator, you can create organization VDC networks and vApp networks. In this diagram, the VMs in vApp test are connected to each other through a rooted vApp network. This network is then connected to an organization VDC rooted network. The VM in vApp demo is connected directly to the VDC network. VMs of vApp test can communicate with VMs of vApp demo after configuring network services such as firewall and network address translation on the vApp test network. The external network provides an internet or WAN connectivity to the organization through an edge gateway which is configured by service provider. A tenant organization administrator can create two types of VDC networks, namely isolated network and routed network. An isolated network can be used to provide connectivity between certain VMs or vApps which need to be separated from the rest of the machines in the VDC. Let's create an isolated network. Go to the network section and click on new. Here the scope determines the scope of the network which is being created. It can connect VMs within a VDC or VMs within a data center group. If you have multiple virtual data centers in your organization and wish to have connectivity between their VMs, the service provider needs to enable cross virtual data center networking. This will enable you to create data center groups and increase the scope of the VDC network. Select the network type as isolated. In this demo, the scope of the network is the current VDC. Provide the network name and network CIDR. You can allow guest VLANs optionally. Define the static pool IP range from which IP addresses will be allocated to the VMs. Provide the DNS information. Review the details and click on finish. Once the network is created, VMs and vApps can be attached to this network. Now let's create a routed VDC network. Click on new and determine the scope of the network. In this demo, the scope of the network is the current VDC. Select the type of network as routed. Select the edge gateway that has been created by the service provider. Provide the name of the network and network CIDR. You can share this network with other VDCs if you have a VDC group. You can allow guest VLAN also. Provide the static pool IP range from which the IP addresses will be allocated to the VMs. Provide the DNS information. Review the configuration and click finish. Once the network is created, VMs and vApps can be attached to this network. Before we see how to attach a VM or a vApp to a VDC network, we need to know about vApp networks. A vApp network is a network contained in a vApp, which is used to connect virtual machines within it. There can be three types of vApp networks, namely isolated, routed or direct. An isolated vApp network can be used when you want connectivity between the VMs within a vApp but do not want the VMs to communicate with the machines outside the vApp. A routed network provides connectivity between the VMs within a vApp as well as connectivity with the machines outside the vApp. A direct network means a vApp is directly connected to a VDC network. Let's see how to create a routed vApp network. Go to the networks and select new. Choose routed. For this option to be available, your service provider needs to enable edge clusters to your organization VDC. Select the org VDC network to which this vApp network will be connected. Provide the gateway CIDR, DNS information and a static IP pool range. Click on add. If you did not configure a static pool range in this step, you can add it later as well. Go to the Network General Properties and edit the Static Pool settings.
You can review the connection in network diagram of the vApp. Once the network is added to the vApp, virtual machines of this vApp can now be connected to this network. Please note, a VM which is part of a vApp cannot connect to a network unless that network has been added to the vApp. Let's go to the virtual machines and edit their network interface cards or NICs. Check the connected box. Select the network and the mode of address allocation. Once the VMs are connected to the network, you can verify it in network diagram. You can also provide internet or WAN connectivity to these VMs by connecting them to an external network. This external network is configured by the service provider for the tenant organization VDC. To connect a VM to this external network, first attach the VAB directly to this network by selecting the direct option in add network. After adding the network to the VAB, connect the VMs to this network. You can add a new NIC to the VM to connect to the external network. Let's power on the VAB. Make sure you have installed VMware tools and enable guest OS customization on all the VMs. Review if all the NICs have been configured with IP addresses. IP address for external network is allocated from DHCP server. For the VMs of the VApp to communicate with other VMs outside the VApp, network services can be configured on this VApp network. You can configure firewall and network address translations. There are some default rules that are added. You can add new rules for better control on the network. You can modify existing rules also like move their order or change their mapping mode. Let's connect VM in VApp demo directly to the organization VDC network. Go to the VApp and add network to the VApp. Add network to the VM. The network topology is now ready. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.